Well, middle school students at an alternative program in Brainerd tried out a project to paint a canvas without an actual paintbrush. Hannah Tran has more in this week's Golden Apple. It's not clear what shapes overtake these larger than life canvases or how they're created. Splatting the paint from the brush. The only clear method is an action. For the red, I took like a brush and I started flicking it. A sort of physical expression of one's feelings, one's intentions, or even one's physicality. Poured red blobs on the, for the arms and legs. Students from the middle level alternative program in Brainerd got their second chance to receive an art commission at Glynion Companies of Niswa, a provider of online curriculum at schools. This year's theme is abstract expressionism. So you don't want to touch the canvas with a brush or a palette knife. You want to try to freely do it. This type of art breaks away from accepted conventions, both in subject matter and technique. A style of abstract art where the artist tries, purposely tries not to make known shapes. Artists like Jackson Pollock and Lee Krasner cherished improvisation. They tapped into inner feelings by using energetic gestures when creating their artwork. Now he still had some emphasis in mind he wanted to accomplish, but it wasn't by creating known shapes. He would just let the paint do what it did. This 1940s style reflected feelings of concern with the acts of men. It was a post-World War II movement, but the kids here based their work off of idioms. My idiom is living from hand to mouth. My idiom is cat got your tongue. My idiom was laughing your head off. I, I hear this idiom a lot. The kids' favorite part, the chance to do something unorthodox, unlike most paintings. You can't break the rules because that would pretty much just be like any other painting. Whether they poured the paint or splattered it with the slash of an arm, these kids had their freedom. Hannah Tran, Lakeland News. Last year was, this, was the student's first presentation at the company, and last year's theme was pop art. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.